平八三島 is completely dead. 平八三島 is completely dead. completely dead. Completely dead. Yo, I can't believe he did that. You know what I'm saying? I like karate, bro. But after this, man, I'm like, I can't take him seriously no more. I can't take him seriously no more. He's even he's a joker. I really can't take him seriously. So what is this, bro? This is the Heihachi Mishima trailer. Like, bro, let this man be at rest, dude. He he can't be bison. He can't be um um who what Akuma or whatever. Uh, he can't be one of those other bosses. He can't be a Shao Kahn. He can't be. I'm sorry, I can't be. I mean, he did that before, but there's there's, there's already an explanation for that. And it made sense. So the first time he did it, it was tough. Fall off the mountain, a couple of scratches here and there. The one time Tekken Five, um, dive under the temple as soon as possible. This was unescapable. Like, give me a break. Just let this man die. So let's go break down this trailer right here. I'm going to tell you why it's bad. In a sense. And I'll tell you why it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30th anniversary. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, we already know. Much about plan. Need to, um... History here and there. Okay, this is a brand new stage right here. We're gonna have that very soon, sometime in the um, season, maybe next season. Uh, mm, you see the ogre type beat. I like that. Kind of reminiscent, reminiscent from like the older games type beat. So there's that. Also, this, right? who are these guys? Monks, these um, these monks got like some nice beautiful at the fist insignia. That's they doing wave dashes through the rocks, my dude. This is wild. You know what I'm saying? Wild wave dashing through lava rocks. Bro, <laughs> not lava rocks. Like you know what I'm saying? Like um, wooden like yeah, hot fire rocks, whatever. Hot rocks, like crazy stuff right here, right? And they are balancing on wooden pole. I just realized it's kind of reminiscent of that anime, the the new Tekken anime that came out like recently, it's like not too long ago, like a couple a couple of years ago. Yeah, bro, that's and they just bring it here, dude. So this inspiration was like. Pretty on the nose, I can't tell you. This is all what Jim was doing. Mmm. Everybody doing the Mishima style. But I'm telling you, when the DLC drops, it's gonna be like a completely different style. It's not gonna be Mishima. But it'll be somewhat Mishima inspired. Polish Air Force. Wait, did I say that Lydia was military? I probably missed that somewhere. But yeah, Prime Minister of Poland. A groom known as the Tekken. Oh, oh, Harada. Eliminando os restos da Tekken monks have been taken out. Remnants of the Mishima Zaibasu. I'm sorry. Remnants? Destroying the Mishima's um, Zai Baksu? Oh, come on. That's insane. What? A Mishima Zai Baksu. Look, you don't need them to do that. I don't even know why. Kazuya didn't do that himself. Even though it was his birthright, so like, don't you know, these guys. What's up, it didn't make sense. Just thinking about it. If he didn't do that, then he's not gonna be here. So you gotta think about it, man. Think about it. The whole um hey I should be alive thing. 
been planned way before Tekken 8 was a thing. And Harada going through these tours and saying, oh, he actually ain't coming back. He's dead. He's done. What the heck is this, bro? Come on. Dude. This could be someone completely different. But it could be someone completely Heihachi. I ain't gonna lie to you. It could have been like, oh, he actually would have been bad, but it won't be Heihachi. But this guy be a, a guy is a clone of Heihachi. I mean, this guy would have potential to play like that. Or his like other sons. It was confirmed by Harada he does have like Harada um he actually does have other kids, so it wouldn't be that far fetched. I'll at least accept that. But this you are still stuck in the past. I can't even say it to Street Fighter because they already stated that Psycho Pass is forever. So Bison ain't going nowhere. You know? And um, Shao Kong gonna be here because time travel. And who else? Uh, um, KOF. The character ain't gonna die. Like, then no matter what, they can have some scratching here and there, but they ain't gonna die. And if people did die, got brought back to life. Like, who? Versus. So, why should we be mad? Look at comic books. It's been like that for a reason. But the quality of the writing got like, yo, oh, y'all make it make sense, you know? Even though it's fancy, fan, um, fantasy fiction, you have to have rules for your own world to make us be immersed in your world. Otherwise, we can't take it seriously and just edit out stuff because you feel like I know you're the writer or whatnot, but you gotta like. Give your readers the respect because I'm just I'm just wondering should I just take this crap seriously or not? Can I just turn off my brain and enjoy this like a damn seal and clap for every crap I see come my way come to bring up old characters? Come on now, bro. Alright, so this thing is I wonder, I don't know who these guys are. Yeah, like other monks here, here. and this is supposed to be like the the temp. Yeah, I saw this temple. I thought it belonged to like what an old temple from Heihachi, but apparently it is the temple for these monks right here. So I guess it's already yeah, pretty much there. And I see Eddie there, Yoshi Mission there. I'm like, oh, that's on like some of a pile's tea. Ain't gonna lie, I didn't know Lydia could be that important. I didn't know. I don't even know why, but she's there. Prime Minister, blah blah blah. It, I, I say she's worse than um, Luke because even though you give her something to like look forward to, we didn't get much of establishment with um, Lydia before. It's not her DLC, but for Luke he is also DLC, but he's supposed to be like the main guy for Street Fighter Six. And look how that turned out. He's just a poster boy with no value or relevance to the story besides being a punching bag for some people in the story itself. So we don't take Luke seriously. But for here, you might get that chance. I'm gonna say it right now. Lydia looks like look, is a cool badass, alright? She's a cool badass. I wanna see more of her. That's all, that's all I'm asking. Now I'm thinking that Reyna has to have something to do with these Tekken monks. If she doesn't, that's just weird. Because she thinking that Heihashi is done. She's thinking about Heihashi is finished. Dead, completely dead. But that's no longer the case now because now she's just gonna be another child who had the devil gym. And because of that, guaranteed she's gonna get this one just because of that. Makes sense. It makes sense. Unless something else happens. I am attacking force. They are doing stuff, shadows, the Tekken monks. Oh man, it's gotta be a, doubt, a, a better name for that. Tekken monks destroy the remnants. I'm like, bro, they're all monks. This is like counterproductive, but whatever. Yeah, Nina about to get jobbed hard, bro. You wanna know what's funny about Nina? She had no great noble wins, right? Because back in Tekken 7, she like lost to Heihashi. First formal. 
on that um the next fight that i remember was, was her and alisa she lost again then she left nina is good at taking on fodder taking on weaker fighters but when it comes to like the mainstay the big boys she get clapped she's like a talent enhancer so guarantee she could have enhanced eddie's talent even though we know he's like strong i mean it said in eddie's bio that he pulled up kazuya and he got body by kazuya the only reason why he survived the counter that like, was gonna kill him right it was because of who yo she mitch right here he saved his butt because of that so it to make it makes sense why these guys are around uh it makes sense a lot i like it and going back to this day like i don't know what the hell why she was there like like mm, God, i can't wait for the dlc to drop bro because all right my story this i'm definitely gonna dive into this man expect that in the future. yeah i don't i don't understand this mess man is it freaking random pulling up with the double power Ooh! could be somebody else but this double power this double oh it had to be somebody bro either like one of the monks or reina bro well, does that make sense because this is taking place during this whole uh, uh fight with Jin Kazuya, I think. So, you know? Look at that smooth hand, right? I see that little white beard. Could be Heihashi, no doubt about it. But then to transition to Lydia, little girl Lydia, and house right here. What does he have to do with the monk? You know what I'm saying? Look at that freaking beard. I would not be surprised that'll be the father, right? Because why, like, like snap to this? You know, that he is dead. Don't know about him. All right, this is insane. This is overkill. Having that um, Jack Sevens going crazy. What some missiles? Do kamikaze type beat. Ugh, damn. Oh. Yeah, that's somebody right there. Okay, this could be. Bro, I saw Heihashi rocking the beats, bro. In the freaking, um, I saw it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that moment happened. I guess somewhere in the world. Um, Eddie is leaving the remnants of the Tekken Force because he's originally like the commander back in Tekken. You guys care about that story? Of course you would. Why do you do that? Right? Yeah, Tekken 6 had that like the world started, the world war started, and Eddie was a part of the Tekken Force to pay bills for his um master. I don't know if Eddie took lies in that, like under Jin. All I know is that he was there for his service. Whatever happened, it might be confirmed here or not. To assume that you gotta be in the battlefield and pretend that like, I'm not gonna pretend that his his hands is clean. He probably did some stuff just to like you know be a part of the game one night. I'm just saying. Damn, they got clapped. I don't know why I'm done. They got double clapped. Whoa! Who pulled up? Could have been the Jacks or somebody else. All right, someone, I don't know who said that. I watched some other video, but someone said, yo, that's Ogre. I'm like, no, that's not Ogre, bro. Random statue, G. <laughs> Come on. It's a random statue. It ain't Ogre, bro. Bro got pants. Ogre never had pants like that. Like, long pants to the toes type B. Look at, look closely. He got some other stuff going on. That's not Ogre standing there. The man. Put Ogre to rest. I don't want to see that dude at, at all. There's no point in having Ogre back. He's dead. Let him stay dead. Okay. I don't know. Where is this section right here? This is love in the back, right? So, this is after Kazuya and Hashi's fight.
the heart, dude. To the heart. To the heart. But that was, it wasn't enough. Apparently, whatever happened, he got darker, um, darker mustache. His hair looking like way darker, like going back to like his old, like dark hair he actually face. Like really, younger hair he He's still. King of Iron Fish Resurrection. That's the name of the DLC, apparently. Not a fan of this. Not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. Let me see the. the, the this is crazy. My G, this is like a wasted slot. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a wasted slot. It's got freaking Eddie, Lydia. Now we got um coming down the fall. Um, Julia's downfall because him being back gives nothing of value. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's like, why should we care? Why should it matter? Why should stories and fine games matter? Period. If all they're gonna do is gonna rain back a certain character and just effed up the story, you know? I mean, they didn't, they didn't do that before, like with, with Hashi. Like, we had Hashi to be in Tekken 5, but crying out loud. And but, yo, how you even survive? And it was like, yo, he's just ducking under the table, on the table. Temple type, right? And the main time we use Hashi, even in Tekken 6, he was there. But apparently, we found out like the more times we're saying that he actually is dead, da da, he, it's a uh, he he just wasn't around, you know. And Tekken Eight now, the excuse is is like he just back, apparently. But we're gonna see that in the in the DLC. But honestly, it's still bad in a writing standpoint because you build that up in Tekken Seven to end the feud with Heihachi Kazuya, and that's it. Something told me that the back of my mind. The worst thing they could do is like continue the feud, ending the bloodline. But that's like at this point, it's straight up buzzwords. Why listen to that crap anymore? Why? Why take it seriously? I love Tekken story. You know, I love it. And the thing you could, the hear the arguments. Oh, it's always been there from the beginning. So why complain about it? Blah, 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 blah. Because the writers and Arata told us what what's gonna happen. What's what? You know. Even though it, it, it was the advertised as such, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, they could change their mind. It's just not good, bro. And like, I praise Tekken for his writing, but not anymore, bro. I am done. I am. This alone made me not, made me not want to care about Tekken story, like any fine game story no more. But all y'all do is undo crap, and that's it. I gave it a pass for Mortal Kombat because this multiverse crap. Because people like Mortal Kombat. And this was like the straw that brought the camera back with the series when MK1 brought back the multiverse crap right after MK11. And it's like, dude, no. Too soon. Way too soon. You know? Street Fighter, keep it simple. You could have variants, you know, characters. They have basic reasons why characters are back as fun, you know. But yeah, I still think Bison is a waste of slot. I don't, I don't care about Bison. Bro. But look, the fine game companies already told people how it is, man. These characters, people like. They want to have it there. We don't care about the story. The money gonna speak louder than quality. So what y'all, what y'all think about, about, about this crap, bro? What do you think about Heihashi being back? You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think about him being around again? Because at this point, I strongly believe that Hey Nishima overstayed his welcome. So I'll be out. Y'all be safe, be easy, and be chilled. Harada lied for real, bro. Crazy.